everybody, welcome back to Scarlet's Journey. If you are new to our channel, I am Josie and this is Scarlet. She's an F1B Golden Doodle and she is now um, a little over nine months old. So I thought it was time that I did an update on her. Um, in one of my last videos, I talked about her coat. <laughs> no, you can't lick me in the face. Anyway, um, in one of my last videos, I talked about her coat and F1B Golden Doodle, which means her father was a standard size full blood poodle and her mom uh, was a Golden Doodle. So um, she has more poodle blood in her than she does Golden Retriever. Anyway, uh, in one of my last videos, I was talking about coats and how they can be uh, straight or wavy or curly and I've been hoping that Scarlett's coat would stay wavy just because of the maintenance of it um, and having to brush them constantly and be real careful about them developing mats and things like that. Well anyway she is uh, just over nine months old now and so far so good. It's wavy. Um, in fact she's pretty long right now. So she's due for a haircut, but I wanted to wait and do this video first um, so that I could show you, you know, how woolly she's getting and it's just wavy. I can comb it with a comb. I don't even have to brush it. So um, she has had a couple of teeny tiny mats um, over the past few months in her paw. Uh, they, the hair grows in between their toes and so you have to watch for mats and I have discovered two small mats um, in the last few months. Also, she had uh, a couple little tiny mats around her lower lip and on the tips of her ears. And I think that was from when we had a whole lot of rain this past fall. She was outside and getting wet a lot, um, playing in the grass and stuff like that. And I think, uh, you know, I didn't get her combed out on the tips of her ears or on her lower lip area. And I think that's why she developed mats. But, Otherwise, that's it. She hasn't had any. She's, it's just been awesome. So, I don't know um, if I'm out of the woods yet. I've read that some people say, you know, Golden Doodles, uh, their coat can change up until the time they're a year old. So, um, I'm just going to still keep my fingers crossed and hopefully her coat will stay wavy and maintenance free because I love it. So, another thing I wanted to touch on today was the use of an e-training collar, um, also known uh, as a shock collar, which I really don't like that word. I don't think it's accurate. I think it has a negative connotation, and um, I think a training collar is a much, much better description of what they actually are. Well, Scarlet really, um, I think, is a good puppy. Um, and she's learned, you know, she learned right away, come and sit and down and all those commands. But she has had a real uh, hard time not jumping on people. Part of the problem was, you know, she wasn't socialized early on because of COVID and the fact that we live out in the boonies. And there was no one around even locally, like in my, uh, on my road for her to interact with. So um, when people come over, she just goes bonkers and she wants to jump on everybody and jump on us. And, you know, it was cute when she was a little bitty puppy, you, you know, you didn't mind her jumping on you, but as she's gotten bigger and she's about 45 pounds now, uh, she's knocked me over a couple of times. I mean, she could hurt somebody, if, especially if you're not expecting it. So I decided, I did a bunch of research, I watched YouTube videos and I decided to get her a training collar. Not only, you know, for our safety, but the safety of others. Um, and my two major things that I was concerned with was the jumping and hurting someone. And also, even though she knew the come command and had learned it at about nine weeks old, she was very good at it. Still, sometimes she had some selective hearing. You know, if there was a leaf that she was more interested in, or um, she had gotten the scent of an animal, um, Sometimes she would ignore me and, you know, I can't have that. You know, we, I like to have her off leash. We have 27 acres and I like to be able to run through the yard with her and, and be out and about off leash on our property. 
So I need for her to listen to me and mind. Plus, Jim and I order gobs of stuff online. And UPS and FedEx are coming here at least three times a week. And I want her to obey me when they pull up and if she's out, you know, in the yard, she needs to obey me and not, you know, chase the trucks or chase the cars or anything like that. So th those are my two main issues. Anyway, so we got the e-collar a couple of weeks ago and it has worked really well. And I have not used the shock at all. In fact, I've never taken the rubber tips off of the collar to where it could shock her. Um, so all I've ever used is vibrate. It doesn't hurt her. What it does is just kind of startles her and takes her attention away from whatever she's obsessed with at the moment, whether it's that smell on the ground or a weed or a leaf or something like that. So um, I know there's a lot of, oh, I'd say bad publicity about um, e-training collars, but like I said, I don't use shock. I've never had it on shock. I've never even set it up to shock. I just use it for vibrate and that's just to get her attention to where then she'll do as I, um, you know, ask. So my sister and brother-in-law came over last week for Thanksgiving and in the past, um, I couldn't keep Scarlett from, from jumping on them when they would get here. Uh, she just would lose her mind and wouldn't do what I wanted her to do. So anyway, we use the e-collar. She knows the command off. She's known that command for a long time. It's just getting her to follow that command when she's in her crazy state. So anyway, um, she was really, really good. She didn't jump on them at all. Um, she did, you know, once we were done eating and we all sat down, you know, we do let her up on the furniture out on the, in the sunroom and that's where we were setting. And so she was up on top of them at that time, but it wasn't like when they first get out of their vehicle or they come to the door and she flips out. She wasn't like that at all. So she was so much better. And uh, when we've been out in the yard, if she hasn't come to me when I've called her, um, I just give her a little vibrate and it immediately breaks her attention and her obsession with what she's doing and she comes right to me. So I highly recommend them. Like I said, I know they're controversial, but they need to be used, you know, properly and I think they're a great tool. So anyway, Scarlett's a good girl. We simply adore her. I can't say enough about um, the <laughs> this breed and how fun she is and how smart she is and loving and I'm not kidding you. I just am crazy about this dog. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about you, silly. Mm -hmm. Anyway, appreciate you guys following along. Hope y'all had a nice Thanksgiving. You might notice a Christmas tree behind me. Um, I really debated on whether or not to put up a tree because with her being nine months old, I just didn't know if she would bother the ornaments or try to chew on things or whatever. And I didn't know if it was honestly worth the hassle. So um, I thought about it for a long time and um, anyhow, I decided to put it up. Well, I put her in her crate and it took me a couple hours to get the tree up and get it decorated. Um, but before I let her out, I had a little talk with her and I told her, uh, I said, you can't touch that Christmas tree. You can't mess with the ornaments. You can't knock it over because if you do, you'll be in big trouble. Well, she agreed and so I let her out. She sniffed it one time and hasn't been near it since. So I couldn't believe it. She has been excellent. And I've also got other Christmas day decorations out and about and she's not bothered anything. So I was really glad about that. So thanks for watching everybody, we appreciate it. Hope you've enjoyed uh, this episode of Scarlet's Journey. Anyway, if you're not a subscriber, be sure and hit that subscribe button, like this video, share it with your friends, ring that bell, and we'll see you next time on Scarlet's Journey.